While the world just lost a great woman to a non-communicable disease, Wangari Maathai passed away after a long battle with ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is a cancer that starts in the female reproductive organs that produce eggs. Experts say ovarian cancer usually happens in women over age 50, but can also affect young women. And joining us now to talk about the disease is Cara Tenenbaum. She is Vice President for Policy and External Affairs for the Ovarian Cancer National Alliance. Welcome to the Thank show, Thank you so Cara. much for having us. Well, we hear a lot about um, cervical cancer, breast cancer, when it comes to cancer in women, but ovarian cancer doesn't seem to have much attention. Can you tell us about the incidence of this type of cancer? Sure, I think we hear a lot about breast and cervical cancer because we're urging women to take action on them. And for ovarian cancer, um, it's, a, I think, a less well-known disease, as you said, but there are symptoms of ovarian cancer. Around 20, 21,000 women are diagnosed with ovarian cancer every year in the United States, and 15,000 women die of the disease every year. We have uh, a pretty low survival rate. Less than 50% of women survive five years after diagnosis, and the majority of women are diagnosed in later stages when the disease has spread outside of the ovarian so is it, uh, is it why it's so hard to maybe tackle it, to, to treat it? Because it's at a later stage that uh, women get uh, the diagnosis? Yeah, it's diagnosed in later stages when the disease has spread. It's harder to treat, harder to survive. Women have more recurrences. The cancer comes back. And so you have to have new treatment options, better treatment options. Um, and often there are limited options in terms of chemotherapies that women can have. There are signs and symptoms of ovarian cancer. There are risk factors. And for women who are at high risk, there are even some ways to prevent the disease. So we have some good news on those fronts. But do we know what causes ovarian cancer? We don't. All cancers, cancer generally is a disease of aging. So the cells um, get older and they mutate. And so our body's defense system um, doesn't kill the, the mutated can cells the way that it, it does when you're younger generally. Although we know um, even girls as young as six who have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. That's shocking, surprising. It is. It's, it's so sad. It is very sad. Now, what are the ways that one can prevent this from occurring, if it are at all possible? So if, you're, if you know that you're at high risk of ovarian cancer, if you have a family history of breast and ovarian cancer, for example, you can talk to your doctor about genetic counseling, possibly genetic testing. You may want to intervene surgically, have your breasts or ovaries removed before you develop cancer. A less uh, kind of intense way to prevent ovarian cancer is to take oral contraceptives. Studies have shown that that reduces your risk of ovarian cancer by up to 50%. So you can talk to your doctor about that too. You should also generally be aware of your body. Be aware of um, the symptoms of ovarian cancer are bloating, trouble eating or feeling full quickly, abdominal pain, um, and trouble with urination. So frequency or urgency of urination. So if you have symptoms that are new for you, that are different, that aren't explained by anything else, then you should see your doctor. And we have a symptom diary on our website that we encourage people to download and fill out to, to have real data to take to their practitioners. So is it something that you ask your doctor to test you? I, I mean, if you go to the doctor, you have these symptoms, which seem to be common with other conditions. You know, a lot of time when women have their menstrual cycle, you know, you get blo bloating you right. know, for, in some cases. So how do you know at wh what point to ask your doctor? to get tested for ovarian cancer. Well, I think that's a really good point. Women have these, they bloating, maybe you react a certain way to a certain food, maybe your body's changing, and that's why a diary is so important. And, and knowing that with my, with my cycle, you know, on this day I bloat, or, or whatever that is, that you know your body. If your doctor suspects ovarian cancer, there are a couple of tests they can do. They can do a, a manual test where they feel your body, they can do um, an ultrasound imaging and a blood test. So there are, there's no definite specific test that will say, yes, you have ovarian cancer. Okay, well, Ms. Tenabum, thank you so much for Thanks your time. Thanks for having me. And uh, we thank uh, Ms. Tenabum for joining us today on In Focus. Kara Tenabum of the Ovarian Cancer National Alliance.